welcome. We are reading for who we are rolling. Sagittarius. Okay. How are you? Sagittarius. You've got fifth house energy as well as Mercury. Okay. So first of all, I'm getting that you're going to be very excited in the coming period. There's a lot of exciting energy, a lot of information coming to you that feels very fun and creativity is rising. It's surging. You could be making plans. This could be travel plans. You're really excited to go somewhere or, you know, you also may have plans with a dating situation. This could be a dating life situation. You're talking a lot to a person. Things are kind of getting heated. People are getting really excited. So let's see who is in your reading today. Reconciliation. Okay. So the person that you're going to be speaking to is a person you already know. They miss you. There's a choice here in the energy about this person. So yeah, black and white energy. I've never really noticed this before. So black and white may be of significance. This may be a color scheme, a color pattern that you know what it's referring to. Maybe somebody likes to wear a lot of black and white or something is just plain and simple. It's cut and dry. So I'm getting here that this is your opposite or someone is very opposite to you, but you're attracting. This is very attractive energy. Yeah, there's a choice to make. Black or white, Do you which door do you want? So something has to be set in stone, Sagittarius, especially about this connection right now. You can't falter. Someone needs to choose, stick with it, stay with it, and that's final. I'm getting that this choice cannot be taken back, so... It's very decisive energy. It has to be this or that. So it's all or nothing or double or nothing kind of energy. So there's a choice right now being made, but it's actually kind of serious or it feels a little bit more serious, even though people are having fun. It's what do we do with our connection at this point? I miss you. Or can I have a second chance? Or let's get together. That's the energy. Someone wants to see you, see you again. They could be traveling towards you or this is what's going on. Okay. Yeah, there's black and white thinking. Maybe one minute also someone like hates you and then they love you kind of energy or this is what the connection has been on and off. That's what's happening right now. So something's turning back on again. You turn this person on. Okay, one more on them. Travel. Yeah, someone's at a distance from you, Sagittarius. Storm warning. Well, what's that about? Hmm. Okay, I'm getting that they're actually coming towards you. So this is someone that you are at a distance from or there's there's a lot of blockages between you two. Like someone was being kind of, you know, hands off or they backed it, but they backed down a little bit. They took a step back, but now they're now they're back. Yeah, back. This is a return. So maybe you're not expecting this. You're not expecting them to want to come towards you. Show me Sag in the energy. Yeah, you guys have some memories about with each other. There could actually be photographs here that you guys have that are very significant. I'm getting that someone is sending you a photo. Remember this day, remember me, remember us, remember what we did. Look, you look so good in this photo. You look so cute, you look so attractive. Okay, so breakup energy is coming out for you. I'm also getting the finances here. Okay, I'm also getting someone wants to move, but the finances are in difficult uh, difficulty. There could be a difficulty with a financial situation right now. So someone needs to fix that. There could be stress involving home, bills, financial responsibilities, something along those lines. Also work responsibilities. Someone is stressed about work, about how much they're making, earning, spending, that kind of thing. So I'm getting that someone has important bills and it's causing a little bit of stress. So show me Sagittarius or, you know, I can't take time off because I have to work. Yeah. You have finances here. So you have a bad relationship with the financial situation right now. So your financial situation is not feeling too good. You may feel like you don't know about it, or there's some certain changes that you're making to it right now. There is a little bit of tension here. Okay. So that's what that is. I'm also getting that you could be up in arms with someone at your work, someone that you work with. You guys aren't really getting along well, or you guys have to figure something out. Your pay is off or your pay is docked. Someone could be withholding from you. I'm also getting, if you're currently dealing with another person, your money is wrapped up in that. Where's Sag in the energy? I'm smelling coffee. So something smells like coffee. 
Uh, show me Sagittarius. Okay, I'm getting probiotics. Someone is taking probiotics or needs to take probiotics. Yeah, it's like someone is noticing an odor. I don't know who that is. Okay, show me Sagittarius. Or this is who someone you're dealing with. Show me Sagittarius with the finances. Yeah, breakup. Yeah, I feel like your, your work is, you know, something's going on with your finances. Your money is a little bit funny, all right? So I'm noticing that, but also, you are not feeling it for someone anymore. There's someone in your energy that you're breaking away from. It's been finalized or that's what's happening during this time. You feel like it's not working. Okay. Something is not working. I can't get this to work. You know, someone needs too much money all the time or the money is funny between you and a person that you've been dealing with. So you're walking away from this work situation. You're walking away from this person in which you have money involved. Things are off. Okay. So what's the dynamic here? Uh, spying. Yeah. So there's someone that you're talking to online. There's someone that is coming in from social media energy. This may be the person that is at a distance from you. Yeah. This is someone who wants to reconcile with you. You already broke up with them in the past. You guys had a misunderstanding about finances. It could be. Okay. Who's the person? It's a death card, wow. So yeah, you've already ended something with them. So someone may have gotten let go, furloughed, fired, laid off, something like this. Okay, or is out of little jobs. Maybe somebody does a lot of little things that add up and something's going on there. So what is this death card person? Page of Wands, okay. Yeah, so someone here has a solution. This person has a solution. They had to fix something and they did. Or they have a solution for you and your financial situation. There's a solution coming in. Someone wants to talk about this. Okay. We're sad in this energy. What's this? Six of Swords. Yeah, your money's a little bit tight or you need to save for a rainy day kind of thing. Maybe you feel like something needs to be solved. It is. You're solving it. You're fixing it. You know you need to make some moves. It's like you're, you could be holding on to every last penny or every last, you know, morsel of what you have right now. You may feel like, yeah, something's not going to fix for a while. It's like you're barely hanging on for a minute. All right, so what else is here for Saj? But it looks like you have enough, but only for so long is what it looks like. Show me the Six of Swords. So the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, that's the thing. So the four, I feel like your solution is here. And your solution, it's like a protective energy. You're going to be protecting what you know, or you're learning some valuable skill set that will increase your fortune moving forward. So this is something that you had to learn about finance, about money, about work. There's something that you learned or you went through recently. So you kind of change your approach. So now that you know something, now that you know a different approach, you're fixing that. Okay. So right now it looks like you're feeling a little tight in the pockets or, you know, you're not feeling really good about something, but you are moving forward. So if this is about a person that you're moving away from, you just feel like it's not enough. Something is not fulfilling to you and you have your sight set on something more or something bigger in life. And that's just what it is. I feel like you're readjusting your desires, your needs, your wants. And I'm also getting, you have to learn something. Okay. What is that? Okay. Yeah. There's something you have to learn. Okay. So ace of cups, uh, you're, you're being guided to have peace right now. Like you just feel guided toward that. So if your work is too much stress, you're moving towards peace or that's why this happened because you need more peace. If you're breaking off from a person, a situation place, because you need peace, you need healing. That's why. So something was getting you out of your element. Something was getting you feeling not like yourself. You felt maybe not well, you felt unwell or you felt lack. So I see that you have to heal that energy so you can move forward. 
So the two of cups, yeah. Someone is surprised that you're showing up. There's a tower energy too. Okay, what's this? There's a lot of people. There's a bunch of commotion on the bottom. Yeah. So I feel like you tried to make something work with a person and the person in the reading knows this about you. It looks like, I don't know if you worked with a team. Okay. It looks like there's a feminine energy who's in charge here. It looks like you may have worked with a team. Yeah, there's at least three people in this group or this family. It's like a family business or a, a home living situation. It could be two couples. But there was one feminine energy in charge here who had the most, especially financially. Someone has a very good backing or has business acumen. Okay, somebody, yeah. So it could also be someone who's like quite pampered or well-to-do in a way. Maybe they come from a good family. So the person in the reading here is coming in. They're seeing you break away from a group. And they're surprised to hear from you. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. Because of the Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Someone's like, finally, we get to talk. You know, we have this connection. They feel like you're in love. Like you're in love with them. This could be a Cancer. That's going to be a younger fire sign, maybe a Scorpio. But I see that you're feeling this person. They're feeling you. Something feels easy, feels perfect, feels flowing. Okay, because you could be next to this person. You don't have to talk to them. Like you could be far away from them. You guys are still thinking about each other, feeling each other very strongly. So this person is talking about this relationship changing or the ending that you guys experienced. Okay. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's a Scorpio. It's a Leo. Um, Venus energy. The High Priestess. Wow. Okay. The Lovers. Okay. So you're surprised to talk to this person too. You and this person, it's like you weren't expecting to talk, speak to each other, talk about feelings or to feel so deeply even because I feel like that's unexpected. The feelings between you and this person is very unexpected. It's like, where did this come from? Where did you come from? Did you fall from heaven type thing? Like, you know, it could be like the timing is weird. You also may see that this person could have options, but you don't know who they are or you wonder about that. You wonder, okay, is this person talking to other people? Do they have a choice in love to make? They do. So you might actually know about that because we did see the crossroads energy with them. There's a choice that this person's making in this connection and you know that. So maybe they chose to be silent for a while or they went silent, but you guys were still feeling each other intuitively or psychically. This is a psychic connection with this person. Lots of water. So this person influences you from a distance. Okay, but I'm getting it's mutual. What's this? Okay, Ace of Cups. Yeah, so you may be making like a side piece your main piece or that's what's happening in this reading. Okay, so Seven of Swords. Someone feels like you're being extra careful here that you have to be very strategic with your life just in general. There's something about success, assets, family, money, your job, okay, some sort of career path that you're on, the people that surround you who know about you. You've been kind of private or secretive or that's what someone has been doing in this reading because you guys need to be strategic. This person, tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. Because of the devil, yeah. Okay, so someone has to sneak around because of a devil snooping in the energy. So... Second house. Hmm. One more. Second house energy, the tower. Okay. The King of Swords. Okay, there's a truth that needs to surface about your guy's connection. So yeah, this could be a separation from that group or whoever is kind of keeping someone on lock. Like someone's on lock here. They're on lockdown or they've kind of, yeah, they felt that way. 
So I'm seeing someone severing ties with a group or people have been kind of like they sneak away to talk to the other person or they do things kind of privately in secret for whatever reason people can't be knowing or seeing. Something is secretive. All right, so the star is here. Someone is attached to a certain way in this relationship. Let me see here, where's Saj in this? Okay, you've got the, the Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah. Something about your home life has to change. You you look like you know this. This could be a pressure point that you're experiencing right now. Like, you know you need to move. You could be moving across the country, for example, or like some big changes happening in your life, which is in turn changing your trajectory. You have a different option in front of you now. So I see that you're feeling it. Like you're feeling this new opportunity, this new home that you're moving into, or you found some sort of home, some sort of family, some sort of group to like place yourself in. So you can belong like you're belonging somewhere you feel like you belong somewhere is what I'm getting okay so the hard part is over and it looks like there's um more of an easy energy coming in so it may not feel like that right now but it's coming in because I'm saying that you've been a little stressed okay Yeah, I feel like you're kind of begrudgingly moving away. If you hear anything, there's animals snoring. Okay, why is the Queen of Swords here? The Queen of Wands. Okay, the Ten of Cups. So I feel like there's someone who wants you to get closer to them. Okay, so you're asking someone to do something. What? What is this right here? It's the four of cups. So you kind of feel like someone may not want an opportunity or you don't want it. Okay, nine of wands. That's okay. They can't come with the same energy or, you know, you have to be completely severed from the past, from the way that things used to be. You also need to like drop your... I don't know if someone has a guard here. Okay. That's maybe what you're telling them. Like, stop being so guarded. Stop hiding things. Be more open. Or what are you doing? Like, what's your next move? That kind of thing. But I feel like even though you could be calling someone out or kind of exposing them in a way, could be slightly, but you're kind of exposing the person in the reading. You're still in it. You're still kind of maintaining with them. You're maintaining the energy with them. But you, you're the way that you're speaking about it, it's not coming off that way. Like if this person didn't know you, they would think like, you know, you hated them or something like this. So let me see this here. Cause they're coming in with the energy of reconciliation. Yeah, here it is. So someone really likes you. You guys stopped trying to talk or whatever, but now you're talking to them again. They're trying to hide that. They actually feel a certain way about you. Like they don't want to be too pushy. Yeah. There's like Taurus energy and there could be an earth sign involved here as well. Oh, can't be showing all that. All right. Yeah. Someone wants a fresh start, a clean slate. That's what they want. Okay, Sagittarius, that's what they're coming in with. So this is going to be a little bit surprising for both of you. Yeah, you may be actually needing something as well because I feel like you're dealing with a life situation. This person feels like you may not want them or you have a tendency to snap at them or they're curious that you would. It's almost like if I have to be careful because if I don't, Sagittarius is going to pop off on me or is going to change their mind or something like this. But I also feel like they're trying to currently change your mind to feel a different way about them and about this situation because what is this social media energy? Yeah, something may not be clear about your guys' feelings right now. Like, I feel like that needs to come out or like, you know, 
it's trying to someone wants to let it fly like they want to let the the feelings fly they want to tell you how they feel this could even be a profession of love like someone wants to profess their love what is this right here okay yeah yeah so there's an earth sign in the energy eight of swords wow this could be someone that you're dealing with you don't know what to think about them. You're not sure if you should turn left or right with this person. I feel like this earth sign is really confusing to you, Sagittarius. This person in the reading may be confused about this as well. Okay. Oh, wow justice okay eight of pentacles so you're wondering if you should work on something with a person but it like turns into love okay something feels very mundane but it turns into love so all right yeah all right yeah i'm gonna leave it there thanks sagittarius i'll see you next time